hi guys welcome back to my channel trust trigger so today we'll be making bandana dress out of six different bandanas so you need six different colors bandanas just select you know any color that pleases you as you like it and you're good to go so what you need to do is arrange it two by two and then cut it into three different places and by the time you're done cutting you should have 16 you no know, 18 pieces all together that's three in three times six that is 18 and then you are good to go so the next thing you need to do is to arrange it according to how you like you know there is no uh, preference in the arrangement just arrange it the way you like and this is the way i like to do mine so i have two up and four on the side for the lower part because of the brother side of the hip and then i sew it on this area that I just highlighted so you do this for the front panel and you also repeat it for the back panel as well then place it on each other and then i'm sure you know that they are not equal and then you need to trim out the x-axis on the side and then you're good to go if you're watching this and you're new to this channel what are you waiting for please please click on the subscribe button we'd love to have you as part of our diy family and if you're already a subscriber you know i've got crazy mad love for you so guys we'll trim it on this side i've just highlighted and this is what you have at the end of the day then you reach out for your tail pull and measure nine and a half inches which depends on your under bust measurement so i'm using nine and a half or nine inches for mine and then from that point of view from that point ends what i'm going to fold whatever i have left at the upper part and fold that inwards so which is going to be my turning point for my lining because this bandana is very light we need a lining for it to make it you know look more professional and more classy so after i've done cutting the lining then we have to sew it on this side and this is the finished product so we've sewn it on the sides and also done the same thing for the lining as well so we'll be joining the lining and the cloth together on this part from one edge to the other ensure that one edge and the other one they meet each other and then so that you can have a proper and neat job so when that's done you need to turn this inside gradually and then you have to iron it and then you know pull it down and do your thing girl so it should look somewhat like this once you are done and then arrange it properly and if you want to iron it you can as well iron it and then you know it's what you want so once that's done you just place that aside and pick four different pieces of um, bandana so you have to join this on each side so pick the first one the second one place them on each other and then you join this all together and after joining don't forget that you will have to run a gathers at the upper part with just an half with just an half an inch allowance and if you don't want to do gathers if it's too stressful for you just go along and pleat it so this is what it looks like after joining it so the next thing i'm doing like i mentioned before okay trim the excess that is on it if it's not equal and then run the gather stitches at the upper part there will just half inch allowance so this is what it looks like afterward and this is me pulling the gathers so the lower part of my dress is actually 45 inches so and that's exactly the size we're going to pull these gathers to 45 inches length so which is like 22.5 22.5 for the front and the back so if you had this together you have 45 inches and this is what it looks like afterwards so then i reach out for my dress again and place the gathers on the lower part of it and as it is like this then i sew it around and this is what it looks like afterwards you know everything is coming together girl i know you're falling in love with it and this is what it looks like inside and please don't forget to overlock this but if you don't have an overlock um machine don't worry you are good to go and the next thing i did was to get an elastic for the upper part so i got a 31 inches elastic and i joined it on that part and then i'll be sewing it on the upper part the exactly where the lining and the bandana fabric starts so that's where i'll be sewing that and what's next is the look for the shoulder so i cut what i have into two two equal parts and i'm going to sew it here to create a string and this is what it looks like after creating the strings it's been ironed and been turned outside and this i'll be attaching to the shoulder with a pin and this is what it looks like afterwards so two for the front and two for the back and then you have to take it back to your sewing machine and you have to join this and voila i can't wait for you to see the end results and one two go and this is what it looks like afterwards and this is your girl tying a knot on the shoulder and you know making it look all nice and classy and all cute and all that so guys you can style this whichever way you want with your pair of sneakers 
with heels if you like you can use the jacket for it you can use the belt on the waist this dress can be styled whichever way you please is as in you're good to go with your turtleneck with your shirt you know it's good to go so this is me with a belt on the waist and i look good yes i know that so so if you're still watching this and you're new to this channel please click on the subscribe button what are you waiting for we so much love to have you as part of our diy family and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and also comment on this video and most especially i would love if you can share this video so that other people will know what we do on this channel and they can benefit from it so guys and don't forget to check out our previous posts we have loads of diy diy tutorial and tree flip ideas and lots of them so check out our channel and check out what we've been doing so guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you and i hope you come back and you subscribe and i love you so much and please if you try this project on your own please please drop a comment below and let me know how i can be of assistance so guys i thank you so much for watching once again i appreciate you i love you so guys see you on friday bye